So cynical. <laughs> Since when did you go Christmas shopping in a limo? Listen, if you was as skinny as my lot when I was a kid, you didn't go Christmas shopping. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. <laughs> Tragic. Hey, let's go to Harrods. I've always wanted to go to Harrods with a chauffeur driven limo. Uh, let's have the chauffeur, please. I'm a firefighter's pay, you've got to be kidding. No style. It's the thing I miss most about working with you, Mott. Actually, I thought we'd go to see Father Christmas. Shh, don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. I don't have a solution in that. Yes, yes, George. Hi, right, George. Lovely. Happy Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Winding us up. I kid you not. See? Thanks a lot. Oh. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Right, happy Christmas. Oh, great. <laughs> Father Christmas. It's nothing sacred anymore. Is he alright? I could have got him. I got the money, didn't I? Charisma. What? Oh. Merry Christmas. Oh. <laughs> John, that's awful. Right, we'll have it. Yes. Give it a rest, sick note. Well, it's not right. It's not fair. Ah, uh, it's not fair, didn't. Whoever said life was fair? Wasn't me. What, do you think it's fair? Don't involve me. I happen to want to be on over Christmas. Just think of the overtime. Money is not the issue here. We're talking about a matter of principle. Principle? and tradition. Let us not forget tradition. Well, as neither of you two have been in the brigade long enough to understand its traditions, it is traditional for firefighters without spouses and children and a part in a panto to give preference to their colleagues who have when it comes to Christmas leave. Listen, I had a Christmas off for four years, so don't give me all that crap about what's fair. When was you last on? That is not the point. Ah, uh, did them. Uh... Keep smiling, sick note. <laughs> That spare pump's a heap. I need help. Dad, you made it then. Well, of course we bloody did, girl. We're here, ain't we? Of course. Edith, how are you? I'm dying for a cup of tea. Well, John will be pleased to see both of you. Oh, no, he won't. Of course he will. Oh, he's at work. I've got to go for a pee. What have you done to your hair, girl? Albert thought we might stay on for a bit if we liked it. Oh, John will be pleased. George, as you all know, is well over nice June. George. Who's your father, George? I think we're all agreed this is the fairest way. Blank slips means you've got duty. One X, you're off. Two's first reserve. Away you go, then. Uh, the least deserving lose. Oh, 
I knew it. I knew it. I never win anything. So you probably won against, didn't you? Bad luck. Baldy. Oh well, suits me anyway. And me? Hey. How's it about that then, eh? Well, that's a fix. <laughs> you just think yourself lucky you're even included in this. Oh, well, at least I won't have to suffer my brother-in-law. My mates are gonna be gutted. Invited to at least three parties, wasn't I? Right. Charles was gonna be sick. Mm. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> Easy, Joe. <laughs> Don't get too excited. You're not off yet. You could end up working the shift at another station if they're short. And bang, I'll go there, White Christmas. Okay, off your mums and back to work. Swap crews and get out there delivering those smoke detectors. Well, what about it? Look, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Maybe. Well, maybe it's not good enough, Bass. I gotta know. Look, the Penge Occasional Player Society's Panto is our major annual production. They need me. Of course you've never seen my buttons, have you? I use a zip myself. Ha 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 ha. Union's not very happy about us doing this. The membership's been complaining. Sit, no. Since when have you need a union to do your complaining for you? Good night. Excuse me. Excuse me, lads. I just want to say, seeing you all here, I just want to say, where's the fire? <laughs> <laughs> right here, the spark catches your breath, mate. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> Always there when you want it. People don't appreciate. I know what I wanted to say. You saved my old mum, you did. 1960? No, 70? What was it? Never forget. Trapped upstairs. House. Bernie? A blaze. And you lads. What can I say? God bless you, lad. God bless you all. <laughs> you start celebrating a bit early, isn't he? Yeah, don't everyone but us. Merry Christmas, oh. lad. Merry Christmas. You wouldn't be interested in a smoke detector, would you? I don't believe this place. I'm going to stay there. Sorry, gentlemen. Lunch is finished. There's a burger bar along the road. Sorry, trouble, sir. London Fire Brigade. We're trying to interest people in smoke alarms. The thing to consider, sir, is that fire spreads in minutes, smoke kills in seconds. They're also cheap, easy to install and maintain, and more importantly, they can save lives. I'm sure they do, officer. But what do you suppose would happen every time a customer ordered, say, uh, crepe Suzette? The old me and you looks quite tasty to me, sir. Reasonable prices, too. You haven't got any cards on you, have you, mate? Have you thought about installing them in your home, sir? No. Thank you. I've got some leaflets. Didn't anyone tell them it wasn't fancy press? <laughs> They're probably here to put out a fire in Harold's Lloyd. <laughs> oh, no. I'll just leave them here, shall I? I mean... <laughs> Oh, 
rather too far to go ahead over. So what do you do when the chaps are out on the fire engine? Well, um, usually I go with the chaps to the fire and put it out. Well, you can play with my hose in. Been going through the male menopause long, have you, sir? Oh, excuse me. Sorry, moustache. Oh, 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 oh. That put your fire out, didn't it? I'll tell you what, I think we could have scored on that party, Joes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must be joking. No, seriously. No, no, that one that was looking at you is really going for you. Oh, all right, all right, shut it. You got it, George. Yeah, yeah, off Dover Road. Two five two priority over. Bravo two five two involved in RTA, unable to proceed. Over. Oh. Oh, God. You all right, mate? Eh? What happened? You bastard! What? You bleeding, drunken, irresponsible lunatic! I want to uh, break your sub. The trouble with cretins like you is, it's innocent people you kill and not yourselves. There were persons reported at that shout, sub. Get the police here. Already have done, and I. He's drunk, you mug! George! It's not worth it. All right. I don't know, George. I'd like to. But you know the policy on moonlighting these days. It's all getting a bit dodgy, isn't it? Have you said anything about moonlighting? We open the bloke out over Christmas and the favour. And if you want to give you a token of his appreciation, well, personal gift, isn't it? No, man. Yeah. Yeah, all right, why not? At least it'll stop Mary and giving me egg over Christmas, won't it? And there's every chance you might score. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here you are. Hello, sick man. Well? I'm oh, sorry, mate. I'd like to. But it wouldn't be fair on Marion, would it? What with her being pregnant and all that. Thank you. Remind me to do the same for you someday. What's all that about? He wanted me to swap places with him over Christmas duty, didn't he? Oh, God loves a trial. Oh, you've seen his buttons, have you? Hey? Huh? Where are they then? Well, they went upstairs to unpack, but that was three hours ago. They've got that much luggage? Perhaps they've gone for a bit of a lie down. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. They are both in their 70s. Didn't seem to bother Picasso. Well, don't you think you could just pop upstairs, you know, just see if they're all right? Everything all right? I'm all right. Is, uh, 
Is Edith all right? Yeah, she's all right. So, you're both all right. Well, of course we're both all right. Why shouldn't we be? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Well, that's all right, then, isn't it? How much are these? Uh, three fifty. Molly's are asking five ninety-five for the same thing. Be with you in a minute, Dom. So uh, I'll put you down for the two dollars and the four fifty. I want to speak to you now. Once his dinner, I expect. Men, they're all the same. Right. I want this lot out now. Go on, clear off! It's me. Go on, all of you. Get out, this is my home. It's not a bloody bring and buy sale. Look, calm down, Leslie. We won't be long. There's a frozen pie in the fridge if you want to stick it in the oven. I don't want a bloody frozen pie. I want this lot out of my house. It's about a bad day. You know, people being burnt and that. It upsets him. I've told you, I don't want you selling this junk. It's not junk! What's wrong with earning a bit of extra pin money? Pin money? I'll show you bloody pin money. You bought this for your kid, have you? Me? Have you? Well, uh, I mean, yeah. You see that? Do you want your kid to lose an eye? Do you? It's all imported rubbish she's got from some backstreet wholesaler. It's all garbage. And it's all dangerous. You want to give your kids this sort of stuff for Christmas, do you? Do you? There's something I want to tell you. Something I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. And that is that I hope... I hope... Yes? I hope it's a nice orange. Very nice. Oh, good. They're nicer when they're nice. What I really wanted to ask you was if... If... Yes? If it's juicy. Awfully juicy. Oh, I'm glad. They're more refreshing, juicy. But what I actually wanted to say was, I wonder... I wonder... Yes? I wonder if you give me a bit. The old orange. It's not what I meant to say at all. When you're here, oh so near, things I want to say. Jumble up. He's rather a good buttons, isn't he, Rob? Oh, yes. Completely. Absolutely the right age for the part. Wouldn't you agree, Bertie? No, I would not agree. Of course not. We do understand your disappointment. Don't be close. Oh, yes. You have our deep sympathy. I don't need your sympathy, thank you very much. And may I remind you that last year, the Penge Gazette described my performance as the definitive buttons? I think the word they used was diminutive, actually. That is not true! Bertrand, please. You're upsetting the artists. If you don't keep your voice down, I shall have to ask you to leave. really worrying you. 
is that you'll get attached and go into one of your depressions when he has to come back here. And that what you do? Hello, tough stuff. <laughs> I'm fine. Whoa. Darling, you can give me a kiss, yeah. Oh. Got a kiss for me then? Yeah. Got me any drink for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see, won't we? Race to the car if you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're not going to give me a big kiss, give us a nice big cuddle instead. Let's get them. Well, you know, the fire brigade dad keeps you fit, eh? Well, come in, then, come in, then. Your brother's here. Oh, the fire tarp's here, is she, eh? Oh, don't oh, you stop. Gordon, is that necessary? Don, fetch the bags. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, let me speak to Melanie, then. Not there? What do you mean, she's not there? Well, if she's only next door, you could go and get her for me, couldn't you? Look, it's Christmas Eve, for God's sake. I'd like to speak to my daughter, if you don't mind. It's not my fault I pulled Christmas watch, is it? That's tomorrow. Where are you going now? Lunchtime drink with the lads. That's all. It's traditional, isn't it? What about those exercises clinic said you should do? What? I'm only kidding, darling. Well, you said something about going over to your parents, swapping presents and all that. We were going over together. Look, I'd love to, you know that. But I can't let the lads down at Christmas, can I? It's traditional, isn't it? Tell me something, Roland. Why did you marry me? Incurable romantic, aren't I? Where are you going? Are you are, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> He's got his father's nose. Hey, don't get personal. Anyway, you can't tell all babies look like Winston Churchill at that age. He doesn't. <laughs> should be saying next he's got fireman's hands. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, is there, Joseph? Oh, I didn't know firefighters' hands were any different to other people's. Hey, your mother must have thought so. Hey? Well, Don! <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, cop for the Christmas watch then, eh? Yeah. But you are spending the night, aren't you? Of course. I've brought my overnight things. Well, that's all right then. <sighs> Mum, what's going on? Go on. It was your idea. I've invited Jerry around. <coughs> Don't what? He's always wanted to widen a fire engine. Wait till I tell him. Do you think he'll be all right, Sydney? You know, safe. Safe? I was thinking, what if you're called out on the shower or something? And young Paulie can help man the pumps, can't you, son? Really? Well, maybe not. Better get a bit of training in first, eh? Have some ice cream sauce. What? Just had a load of tomato. My chips. I have to tell you, it's over between me and Jerry. Finished. Kaput. I filed for a divorce, for God's sake. Tell her, will you, Dad? I've tried. <laughs> Shit. 
Everything all right, is it? Charlie, know you're using his gear. Yeah, you'd be right, Cyril. He done a sort of work before then. Oh yeah, yeah. George already told you that, Cyril. Do you think it does have something to do with the size of the brain? Yeah, so I told her, didn't I? Good for you, mate. Sounds like she's taking a right liberty. Yeah. What did she say? Well, she could say, what's her? I mean, man's governor in his own home, right? Wrong. Happy Christmas. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Cheers, Liz. Happy Christmas. Cheers. 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 Joe's. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, what are you doing here? All right, Joe. Do you want a drink? A large vodka and tonic, please. Sure. I'll get it. Masha. I thought you was off visiting your parents. I was. I have. Now I want a drink. Oh. I know what you mean. Yeah. what they can do, isn't it? Is it? Look, Sydney, pot noodle. How old is he? Why don't you ask him? I'm 48. What's that all about? Ignorance, right, Paul? Yeah. Right, Sydney. So you're not going down to see them? I had a rethink. I've got to be back at work first thing in the morning, then. Eh? Well, I wouldn't feel too good, you know, opening the presents with Melanie and then having to leave. I also don't think it's the best of times to expose it to all that poisonous atmosphere our mother and that crab are experts to create. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Any alternative plans? What? For tonight? Get drunk, I suppose. I'll drink to that. Smell you. Hello, Marion. Hello, Marion. Nice to see you again. Can I get you a drink? Here is he. You mean your husband? It's a bit early for Santa to be coming down the chimney, isn't it? Quite. He uh, told you he'd be in here, did he, love? That's what the line tone told me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, young man. Pleasure, sir. And, uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm afraid I don't carry cash. Uh, perhaps I can persuade you in for a little celebratory drink. Oh, no, I don't think so. I've got another call, you know. Oh, what a pity. I found that little talk we had so interesting. I was particularly intrigued by the nickname your colleagues have given you. I'm curious to know how you come by it. Merry Christmas. Thank you. like a lady is looking for a ride. I beg your pardon? Oh, cabs are thin on the ground today, darling. We just got lucky. I'm available. Jump in. I 
as you can see, very roomy in the back. Are you licensed? I could show you my credentials. Shall we at least go somewhere a bit more discreet? I'm a police officer and I'm arresting you. <laughs> what? It's an offence to curb, crawl and solicit for sexual favours. Oh, do me a favour. What is it, game for a laugh or something? Everyone all right there? Ecstatic. Look, I tell you what, why don't we start by pulling a cracker? Dad? Edith? Oh. Do we have to? Enjoy them, some idiot once said. Must have been if he was talking about marriage. <laughs> Dad, will you go back and sit at the table, please? What are you sniffing at that pudding for? I can't smell no brandy. I like brandy on my Christmas pudding, girl, you know that. I was going to do that as soon as I've dealt with these. Everyone for Christmas put then. Why don't you and Edith pull another cracker? I'm a legitimate driver for staff cards. You can check that out. Sure, we will, sir. Of course, it's private. I'm not really entitled to pick up fares in the street, but it's Christmas, isn't it? I was just trying to do you a favour. All of a sudden, I'm a pervert, and you're locking me up. Oh, I'm sure the magistrates will take a sympathetic view, sir. Are you banging me up now? Well, it is the season of goodwill. What about the paperwork and the cups of tea? What about my phone call? I'm entitled to a phone call. Whoa, that smells good. Are you going to light it, then? Well, we don't need to do that, Dad. In our family, we always lit the Christmas pud ever since she was a little girl. Uh. Oh my God, are you all right? You must have put too much brandy on it, love. <laughs> Now, seriously, if none of you lot ain't doing anything later on, there's a little dude down at my local. Why don't you come down? I'm supposed to be going to my sister's in Weybridge. Why you couldn't stand that? I can't. That's why I'd go to a party in Fulham. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Charisma? Uh, I don't know. I'll see how it goes, sir. Got a bit of a do down at my club. No, my mates down there be choked if I don't show up. Oh, yeah, right. I might have some of that. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, what about you two? Uh, maybe. Don't know. You're gonna be all right then? Yeah, yeah, of course. Can anyone give me a lift? Well, no one's driving, darling. Um, Malk's ordered a couple of cabs. Thank you, Malk. I have indeed. It'll be my pleasure to see you home safely. Ooh, a Jedi! <laughs> Cheers! See ya. See ya. Well, that's the kind of guy he is. Oh, more heroes! Watch yourself, Mark. <laughs> what are you doing about food? Not a lot. Your place or mine? All right. All right. Look around the corner. Toe down, there's a good chap, we're in rather a hurry. Well, I'm good at all, mate. Need any help? Not with the food. Why don't you put some music on? We can pretend we're enjoying ourselves.
Any reason we shouldn't try? Why not? for you too. from somewhere, mate. What? I said, then I know you from somewhere. No, no, not me, mate, no. It's Vaseline, isn't it? From Blackpool. No, not me, mate. I drive a limo for a living. Well, did. Promise, as soon as I finish work on Boxing Day. Of course, I'm sure. Okay, sweetheart. But uh, get to sleep early. Santa don't call unless you're asleep. All right, sweetheart. Yeah, Daddy loves you. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. My daughter. Yeah, I gathered. You better go now, Mike, don't you? You playing Ludo or what? Well, let, let me just finish this. Staying up late tonight, anyway, there's plenty of time. That bleeding time. What's this? It's to keep you warm and snug in the night and allow you to slumber the sleep of the innocent. Night? Oh, you can't be serious. I want to see the officer in charge. I am the officer in charge, and I'm going off duty any minute. Oh, that's just diabolical. I know, sir. Oh, by the way, I shouldn't bother with the stocking. My auto's coming on doesn't believe in Santa Claus. Happy Christmas.
Hollis? Morning, Kev. What's up? Ah, Christmas. Ah, it gives a smile. It's Christmas Day. Very funny. How was your evening? Basically just sat around and uh, watched television with the kids. How about you? I'd rather not discuss it. All right. Let's have this one back in one piece, eh, sub? Morning, Malk. Rather you than me. I had a good time partying it last night. What were you doing? Picking up bits of people killed by a drunk who thought it'd be fun to lick a bus to go home in. Ah, sorry. Yeah, very messy. Caffrey job, us and Deptford. Yuck. Heard a funny thing, though. Yeah, what? A mate of mine with them reckons a pal of his was out in the shout earlier. With his geezer, who he's certain was Vaseline, drove his motor into someone's front room. I thought, nah, couldn't be. You heard anything about that? Vaseline? That's what his mate said. No, uh, we'd have heard about it. Oh. It's easy enough to find out. Give him a bell. Yeah, give him Father Charismas. He's got no more use for it. <laughs> Morning, Joyce. Morning, lads. Happy Christmas. How are you? Happy night, Joyce. Not particularly. Why? You want something different? No. Just asking. What'd I say? Thought we might have seen you down at Tony's local, Joyce. We had a good night, didn't we, lads? At its moments. Yeah, the worst of which is when you got up and sang. Sang? You? That's obscene. Yeah, well, so-called grown men acting like little boys is obscene, isn't it? Oh, dear. Get out of the wrong side of someone's bed this morning, did we? God. What a pompous, pure public school prat. Do you care to alliterate that? Yeah, whatever that means. Whining, whinging wimp. <laughs> you're drunk. For your information, I am not drunk. A little hungover, maybe. I'm most definitely tired of the macho crap that passes for humour amongst you lot. This is Christmas Day, isn't it? No ad duty for me, folks. I'm off home. Good luck with the in laws. I'll need it. Have a cool you, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you, son. What do you mean? You're late already. You have to go in. No, I don't. I rang in sick. When? Um, last night. When I was out. Yes, when you was out. Where is what I'd like to know? I've got a nice prezzy for you. You did. Also, I didn't want to spend Christmas Day without you, darling. Rolling. Oh, oh. Thought you might like to knit some things for the baby, you know. Don't you celebrate Christmas or something? Not in the Muslim calendar, sir. Phone. Straight out. Christmas pudding. Drenched it, the old bastard. Well, couldn't you have 
You know, Sandra's eyebrow pencil or something. She didn't have my colour. Don't tell the lads. Cyril, you're my brother-in-law, family. How can you say that? How can I say it? How can I say it? You dared to! Look, that lunatic mate of yours is written off one of my cars and you get locked up for being the sexual deviant you most undoubtedly are. My Christmas is ruined, my kids are at home, saying, where's daddy? I should be there opening presents with him. Where am I? I'm stuck in this bloody office. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea at all of the damage it's going to do to my business? When it gets out, the I employ drivers who deliver my punters to other people's living rooms through the wall. And they're disgusting pearls. Do you want to know why I don't care? If you were rot in there, well, that's why I don't care. Cyril, it's Christmas Day. I've got to get out of here. I need a lawyer. Well, I do not know any lawyers that want to hear from sex offenders, especially on Christmas Day. They're at home with their families like decent citizens. I hate you, George. You're sacked. Goodbye. I don't suppose I could have an aspirin, could I? You've got to get it together, Jouse. Why? What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry, it's not a reference to our little tryst. Our idiotic dalliance. I didn't think it was idiotic. Oh. God, you're not going to get nauseatingly romantic over what was, let's what face it. What the eyebrows? No, I still like that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A major, major mistake. Is that why I'm sober and you're still drunk? Oh, wonderful. The monumental conceit of the male species, especially, particularly, the boys of this noble watch. You want to believe that kind of bullshit, fine. If anyone's been juvenile, it's you. You ought to be grateful the lads are prepared to cover for you. Oh. The Gov's one of the best, but I doubt if even he's going to stand for someone being pissed on duty. Just go away, Mike. Leave me alone. All right. Please yourself. Yes, I do. Smashing. It was John that picked it. Do you like what we give him? Fertiliser? That's all right. Wait till he sees a jumper I got in. Ding dong, merrily am I. The sun has got no eye grounds. Oh, yeah. It was a good film when after Lizzie's chat to her subjects. Look, Bailey, why don't you turn it in, eh? What she don't want to know. <sighs> Sorry, birds. What do you expect? Now, what about women do you, sunshine? Enough to know that can be a pain in the arse sometimes. What's her story? Story? Must be one to arrive on duty boss side. Who knows? Domestic, I expect. Usually is this time of year. <laughs> Hello? Looks like we've got a dotter looking for a hand out. Hello, sir. Dad. What are you doing here? So I come and see how you are. Being Christmas like. Dad, you haven't. I'm on duty. I mean, you can't. Does Mum know you're a... Bound to by now, I suppose. Don't get young with me, son. I just had enough of it. Know what I mean? Oh, God. 
Uh, look, I'll just, um... That's all right, mate. Don't have to go on my behalf. I don't suppose I'll be hanging about. No, it's all right, you can, uh... I didn't know you were a dad. Well, I mean, uh... Sorry. Would you like a cup of tea or something? I wouldn't mind a drink of some sort, and that's a fact. Perhaps I'd better not hang about. Look, um, just sit there. I'll be back in a minute, OK? What was all that about? My mate sent me, Yeah? If I want to tell you something, in confidence, it'd be strictly between us, right? Right. I think my dad's just legged it from the neck. Nice to see you You're again, right, Mrs. Yeah. Burgess. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Glad you could make it. Happy Christmas mm. to you, Mrs. Sanderson. <laughs> Been a long time. Yeah. I thought you got lost. <laughs> I'm starving. Came straight from church, Mr. Burgess. Straight from church. Uh, don't you think it's time you two started calling each other by your Christian names? <laughs> she ain't a Christian. <laughs> That's not true. Is it? Of course not, love. Same that's the heathen. <coughs> Start you two. You've only just got here. I can't believe you've done this, Dad. It's madness. But you were on a pre-release scheme in an open nick. You would have been out on parole in less than three months. Gee, I can't believe... I mean, what the... Why? Appreciate this. Going down the street. Oh, for God's sake, Dad. I ain't exactly been a perfect father to you, have I, son? I ain't complaining. How many Christmases I've been away since you was born? I don't know. I ain't kept count. Eight, you know. This would have been the fourth on the trot this time, man. So? Don't make me feel too jolly. Leaving you to support the family. I know I've been a tea leaf, son. It's in the blood, isn't it? My dad, he's dad. Not you, thank God. Way of life. Didn't know no difference. Dad. Didn't mean I didn't try and look after you all when I was on the outs. Your mama confirmed that. Dad, this is stupid. You're gonna have to give yourself up. Yeah, I know that, son. But not yet, eh? I just want a little taste of freedom over Christmas, you know. Uh, look, we're going to have to show our faces. Don't move from here, right? Oh, smells nice, Mac. I got it in Sri Lanka when I was last there. You got the turkey in Sri Lanka? No, me perfume, silly. So how come you're not jet setting it this Christmas or anything? Oh, I felt sorry for you lot. And my Albert's prostate's playing him up. What? <laughs> oh, you look a bit peaky, love. You're all right. I've got something in me bag that might help. Just a cup of tea, please, Mac. Thanks. I understand. Anyone check out Vasily? Yeah, I did. Marion said he was all right. Didn't know anything about it. About what? Excuse, Gav. Uh, all right, Kev. What's that, Gav? I don't know what he was talking about, darling. Honest. Your sister's run. Yeah? Well, that dog of a brother-in-law must have told her. What'd she say? She spoke to the inspector. And? Alas, I'm not privy to his private conversations.
Though I did get the impression he's not opposed to you having bail. Yeah, when? When? Oh, they look nice, love. Or two. He spent two days preparing them. Oh, never. He did. What's that in? It's ackee and saltfish, Dad. Try some. It's really tasty. Oh, no thanks. I can't stomach that foreign muck. Alf! What? What did you get for Christmas charisma? Earache and a couple of cuddly toys. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, sick note? Got a nice watch from Jean. I mean, 15 shaving kit from the kids. I'll get one on birthdays as well. First aid kit would be more appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, nice. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Who's this in? I'm Paul and staying with Nancy and Sydney for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh, and what do you find a Christmas oh, bringing? Hat, scarf, jumper, trousers, oh, shirt. Oh, that. <laughs> Too far, just in case we get a shower. What do you reckon, then, Paul? Wait, <laughs> we had the two tones on. <laughs> he knows all the bunny, doesn't he? You've been to fire school? Nah, Sid told me. Getting better now, love. I'm not better now throwing up, thanks. Overdid it a bit yesterday, did you? You could say that, yeah. Still, it's a lesson learnt. You put me in the right spot, Dad. You're going to have to leave. I rang Mum. She's going bananas. And the old Bill being round. She said if you don't give yourself up, she's going to tell them where you are. That's all talk. Your mum wouldn't do that. This is stupid, Dad. If you get captured here, it'll cost me my job. Then what, eh? Nah. It's not your fault I showed, is it? You always were a selfish bastard. Yeah. Guess you're right, son. Oh, hello, sir. I was just, uh... Kevin, I need some ciggy, son. Who's this, then? Here, darling. Maybe one thing a woman can do that a man can't, eh? Just one. OK, have a baby. Go on, then. <laughs> Mr. Burkett, if you don't mind, darling. <laughs> Mr. Burkett. Yeah, babe? <laughs> you do actually think, then, do you, that men are superior to women? Well, not exactly. I just know that women are inferior. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, darling. Oh! Women's place is in the own, eh? Oh! Is it? Oh, oh, no! No! Oh, oh, no! Oh, 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 Gold. Is it gold? Of course it's gold. It's beautiful. Mm. Come on in. Well, seeing as you refused to make me dinner, I've decided to take us out for a meal. Christmas Day? My contacts. Waiter? Excuse me, I can have a moment. Nicola, table five. Miss. Miss! Oh, 
just wanted to help. That's lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah. Open your champagne for you, sir. Yeah, whatever, mate. Waiter. Mm. Cheers. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Waiter. Um, one moment, please, madam. Sorry, thank you very much. Oh. We just had four more Christmas dinners coming. Can I have those Christmas puddings, please? Done, madam. Well, I assure you, they taste disgusting. I want them changed. Certainly, madam. I shall personally horsewhip the chef. Makes jokes as well. The insufferable hag is complaining that your Brussels are soggy. My Brussels are not soggy. I know that. Perhaps if we stuck them under the grill for a few minutes. What's that? Water, Mr. Blake. I can see that. What's it doing there? Spreading by the look of it. Oh, God, that's all I need. Wait, what's your man? Um, what did he want? He just turned up at the blue light. So you put him in the basement gear room? Isn't that a little strange? Oh, um, yeah. I'm not going to give you a bollocking because your father calls around the station to say hello, lad. I just want to know why he was lurking in the basement gear room. I suppose I'd better tell you what's happened, Gov. Domestic flooding, Gaff. Domestic flooding. And don't pull all the crackers, will you, son? Isn't it typical? Right when I was ready to dish up dinner. <laughs> yeah, I know. Murphy's law, isn't it? Paulie are staying and having it with us, aren't you? Yeah, of course we are, aren't we? Yep. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Hello. 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 Just looking for me son. Don't seem to be anybody about. Is he a fireman? Yeah. Just gone down the road in the fire engine. Well, this can't be right, can it? Um, sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Seems to be a bit of a leak. Nothing to worry about. What, right, mate? What about all of It'll soon be sorted. Uh, just uh, carry on enjoying your meals. I'm still waiting for mine. Chef seems to be right now, madam. Where's your incoming stop got, mate? Uh, I've no idea. You called our boys? Yes. Come on, then. Let's go and have a look. Please, uh, sit down. Uh, everything's being sorted. Just enjoy your meals. There you go. That didn't take long, did it? Where are they? You said they'd be here in minutes. Where are you? I swear you arranged this. Leave it out, darling. Everything's going to be all right now. So what's all this in? 
What are you doing here? Just having a bit of Christmas grub with my wife. Oh, hello, Mary. Oh, Marion. Oh, Marion. Happy Christmas, all right. Oh, I'm bloody not. So what is it, then? Oh, champagne, Dad. No, no, it's burst pipe underground kitchen. So what's happening? I can't cook in this weather. Can anyone smell that? Dorothy. Thank you. Very nice. Isn't it, Barney? It's fine. Foreign food. There's nothing foreign about this. This is proper English grub. Don't start again, you two. Well, don't pick on me, girl. It's him. Dad, leave off. Peace on earth, Mr. Burgess. Yeah. It's Christ's birthday. Amen. <laughs> Up yours. Ow! All right. That's it. I'm going to belt you in a minute, Alf Burgess. Goodwill to all men, Mrs. B. <laughs> Tony. Something stupid. Get rid of him, dear. Just forget it, eh? It's not what I got off duty for. I can't just chuck him out, can I? Right then. What are you doing? I'm off. Where are you going? I don't know, do I? Yeah. 
That's the last time I shall patronize a restaurant of yours. Enjoy your meal. Didn't get to have it, did we? I know a place. You all right, Marion? Yeah, yeah. thanks a lot, Jesse. I didn't know you were in the fire brigade. The inspector's got a son who's a fireman. He says Christmas is a time for all the family. Bollocks! So in his infinite wisdom, he's decided to let you out. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Maggie. Never mind, loves. You're welcome to stay and have something with us, aren't they, Nance? Yeah, of course they are. Parents. Duty, and that's the limit. Taking deep breaths. Yeah. Oh, you see a bit of that, do you? Yeah. Still pals. Yeah. So, what are you going to call it then? It's anything like him. The only thing I'll be calling is the Adoption Society. <laughs> Have they got one for parents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good idea, isn't it? So, what did you get for um, oh, Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Did you see what the time bought me? Oh, thank you. Oh, Kevin, your dad was in looking for you. He said maybe you could visit him next time and that he was taking your advice. I don't know what he meant. He never did explain to me what he was doing in that storeroom. Oh, I don't know. I think he was looking for the loo gub. Bit elephants, you know. I'd like to propose a toast. Um, does anyone have two glasses? No, it doesn't. The London Fire Brigade, Blackhall Fire Station, and all who sail in her. Hear it. Cheers. 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 Any room at the inn? I'm starving. <laughs> what are you doing here? Where's your eyebrows? Ding dong, merrily on high. The supper's got no eyebrows. Oh!